What's going on, everybody? This is Anthony again from Knockout Games, bringing you a late night unboxing. I don't know where the camera is. So there, up there. No, it's right there. I see. Okay. So I got this package in. It came early, actually. Story of my life. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've it's something that's actually been pushed back or had a undetermined release date. It was supposed to be released on April 30th. That date got pushed back a, the day of, and it got pushed to May 15th. And as I'm recording this, it's May 10th, five days early. So this box got from GameStop. Hopefully it's what it is, because I've had the worst luck when it comes to GameStop deliveries past couple of days, the past couple of months, but uh, I'm about to open this thing up. This, ah, it is exactly what I ordered. This is the Xbox One and Windows 10 wired controller from Hyperkin, the Duke controller. This one is was it's supposed to be released on the 15th at GameStop exclusively. It is a wired controller replica of the original Xbox, original, the OG Xbox controller, the big bulky one that they wound up revising and making the, uh, the S model uh, controller for the Xbox with future releases because the controller was too big for the average gamer. So they made it small. So the origins of this controller being made was actually a joke on Twitter. I think it was an April Fool joke, uh, April Fool's joke, from Seamus Blackley, who used to be, I guess, he was involved with the original Xbox and the creation of the Duke. And then I guess he had talks with Hyperkin, and they wound up making it a reality. So it's pretty cool. Uh, there is a bunch of differences between this one and the original Duke controller. Uh, one, there is no memory card slot at the top, just completely solid. And they've added uh, secondary buttons for the L and R's for the bumpers. So they have the triggers, they have the bumpers. The bumpers are the same exact thing as the white and black buttons do on top. So I'm gonna open this up. Let's see what's gonna, what it looks like. And there it is. Of course, you're gonna get a very special thank you to and all the people uh, involved with the creation. Then we have the manual. It's a quick start guide for the Hyperkin. <sighs> Those of you who are collectors, do you, don't you just love the fresh, the brand new smell of plastic? It's just like the best. <sighs> all right. So this is a fat controller. That's what they used to call this one, the fat controller. Of course, it has a button. It's a pretty small, tiny. And you have the triggers up here. You have the USB cable there, which is a uh, micro USB cable, standard Android. They have the start and select buttons, which is the menu and the guide buttons right there. And this LED LCD screen will show the emblem of the Xbox in full motion. It's actually pretty cool. And um, you push it in. And it's the guide button, like a regular standard Xbox controller. Then you have the A, B, X, Y. Then you have the black and white button. Like I said before, the um, right black works with the right button. The left white works with the left button. Simple as that. The triggers have the button presses. I don't think the original Xbox had this thumbstick on it. That, I think so, yeah. And then the D-pad, which is really weird feeling but it's pretty cool. I'm gonna plug it into my computer, see how it turns on. All right, so connecting it to my computer actually does the thing that it's supposed to do. The thing of the thing. I'm just gonna plug this in this way. There you go. That's how the original Xbox started. And that stays like that. You press it, and it'll have. Ooh! Press it again and again, and it works. Oh, that's pretty dope. 
Hmm. Does it do it as a loop? I don't know. But you press this, bam, and it does it over and over again. Oh, so cool. So yeah, that's the unboxing of the Duke. The Duke is exclusive to GameStop retail stores online. It's not currently available because, of course, like I said before, it releases on May 15th officially. Uh, but it is $69.99 for a wired controller. Those of you who feel nostalgia uh, for the classic Xbox games, since they are backwards compatible, like the Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, uh, Banjo Kazooie, Perfect Dark, uh, or maybe just replaying uh, the first Halo Combat Evolved using. The Duke controller like it used to be if you want to give it a shot or just have it a collector's as a collector's item uh, I believe it's gonna be hard to find I don't think these are massively produced especially since they're only at GameStop I mean a couple of a month or so ago if you remember Sea of Thieves had a special edition controller that's almost nowhere to be found unfortunately uh, I got one but yeah that's a hard controller to find just as hard as the, the Gears of War 4 Elite controller. But yeah, but that's it. It's just this controller, showing it off to you guys. I'm about to, I'm gonna play some games with it, see how it feels, and uh, hopefully you'll see me stream something uh, soon with the new controller. But for everybody here at uh, Knockout Games, this is Anthony signing out. If you wanna catch me on Xbox, you can go look me up at Zombeast. 1016 Z O M B E A S T 1016, or you can catch me on PlayStation at uh, K O G underscore Banos, and I'll be playing some games there. But for everybody here at Knockout Games and the Real Lazy Ass Gaming Network, this is Anthony signing out. Peace.